Hey gang, so today I'm very happy to welcome back an old sponsor, Ant Design. And this time they've sent over a two for one of the S Nano V2s, one in titanium and, no, one in titanium, one in Zerk. I gotta, I gotta get this stuff together. Which one's better? I don't know. I don't know if there's a better one. They're both different. They have their own personalities, their own styles, their own feels. Don't worry though, we're gonna get them both under the camera and have a quick look. It is the S Nano and S Nano. Let's go. Okay, so here we have the Zerk and the Titanium. Now, uh, let's talk about, first of all, uh, if you have ever watched any of my older videos, you may remember that at one point I reviewed the V1 S Nano. And it was kind of a mixed bag for me because it was, um, there was some good stuff and there was some stuff I didn't like so much. And, and a lot of what I didn't like was in just sort of the, the design of it. Uh, it had very sort of sharp corners, I felt. So a lot of uh, hot spots. Uh, it was a little stiff. Uh, I know people were having problems with um, the these end caps actually popping off for a few people. So in general, it was it was a good sort of first effort, but I felt like it needed some work. And so I was really pleased when Ant Design reached out and um, said, well, we have these other two now. Uh, we'll send both of these. We'll send our Zerk, our Titanium, Titanium. So we'll send our Zerk and our Titanium in the, uh, the V2. So first of all, we'll compare the two together. And then I'm just going to take one apart because I don't need to take both of them apart. They're, they're essentially the same on the inside. So there are, uh, there are a couple of main uh, differences between the Zerk and the Titanium. So um, other than obviously the, the, the different materials, one is the weight. And the uh, Titanium over here, stop pointing to that one, Sean. The Titanium is 1.8 ounces and the Zerk is 2.5 ounces. Now, that's on my scale. My scale might be a little bit off, but you can see that there is a significant difference in weight between the two. Other than that, the Zerk has a definite softer feel to it, much more rounded, uh, and I find much more comfortable in the hand. It actually just feels really nice, uh, really kind of smooth. Whereas the uh, the Titanium still has uh, a, a smooth in terms of it's smoother than the V1 for sure, but there is more of a grip here. Uh, the plates tend to be a little uh, sharper than the... Um, than, than the Zerk, like I can actually just push up with barely any effort on the titanium because this pattern uh, grabs uh, skin or grips in the skin so well. Whereas the, um, the, the Zerk, I have to actually push down a little bit more to get it moving or push it from the bottom. It does not have that, like my, my thumb will slide off the plate on the Zerk, but uh, will uh, with the exact same amount of pressure it is not sliding on the titanium. So that's, um, you know, there, there's a bit of a give and take here in terms of if you if you want kind of like the smoother feel and the Zerk, but knowing that you're not gonna have the same kind of grip. So that's really kind of the, the main fundamental differences. Other than that, everything else is the same. So you got weight, you got kind of like a little bit of the, the, the sharpness on the edges is just a, a little bit more in the titanium and, and the grip. Is that three things? I think it's still two, it's still two. So. Let's look at taking this apart. Now I'm gonna move the Zerk off to the side because we've already uh, established that they're the same on the inside. So what do we have? Well, there are um, there are quite a few upgrades uh, in terms of how the V2 was uh, put together. So like the V1, these the screw here and the screw on this side have to come out first because then the plate gets removed and then we get to the, the internal structure, which is what we need to access to, to sort of lift the whole thing apart. Now, what's really interesting with the way these are designed is you only have to take off these two end screws to actually take the entire thing off. Uh, and then obviously like the two screws uh, on the other side, take this side off, but there's no internal posts that you have to unscrew, which is actually really interesting. So here we're going to use the, the provided um, Allen key. And now you'll have to bear with me because um, this is always a little trickier to do when like the camera is right, 
like under you. So if I bump the camera, I apologize now. So let's keep our screws in. Always important. Make sure you have something with you to keep your screws around because yes, a tray is great, but even a cork tray um, makes a really great trampoline for little tiny screws and springs and balls. So it's always a good idea to just um, have a little spot where you can keep everything safe because I don't know how many times guys that I have just like moved my hand across something and just sent pieces flying. Okay. Now you notice what I did there. I kept pressure down on it because now we have uh, the lid is loose. So I'm keeping pressure down and then I'm sliding it closed. So when I turn it over, I'm grabbing the lid here. Okay. Now, the nice thing about this is we don't really get things flying out as you'll see here. So the easiest way to lift, I find is to just push down on one side and lift up the other. Okay, so what we have in here is a little spring, but it's a conical spring, right? Which means it ends in this cone shape. And the reason is because it sits inside this post. The force of the spring, okay, being pressed on it by the lid, pushes into the center of this post, which keeps the post in place. So there's no screws, which is really, really interesting. That's a new feature that they've they've kind of added to these. Now we have our little uh, rubber gasket here, or little liner. Um, this just kind of prevents the, uh, I guess, the rattling. You could probably make this a little louder, a little crunchier if you got rid of this. And it's very thin too. This always feels like it, it's almost going to rip. Now, here's a, th a thing. If you ever open this up, do not panic. This is normal that you are missing a magnet in each corner, at least on the titanium and the Zerk that I have. Uh, it's missing these in the corners. I have no idea why. Uh, but just to say, don't freak out thinking that uh, there was a problem because no, that's actually how I got mine as well. Let me straighten this out. So now, uh, the one thing we want to do is take the magnets out. This is the part that freaks people out because you just, you can't really lift it off well if they're connected. If these two pieces are lined up, these magnets are sticking to the magnets on the other side, 100%. So what we have to do, and this never feels good, but just slide it, and then the magnets just kind of correct themselves. Okay, so now we have our lid. The lid slides freely, stops here, and the lid is actually sitting on a track, as we can see right here. So it cannot lift off and the pin is preventing it from sliding all the way out. The pin goes into this track and when the pin gets to the end, it stops this guy from sliding off. Now, how do we get the pin out? There you go, pin out. That's what I mean in terms of this being pretty cool with um, uh, this pressure design, instead of it being like a threaded screw that you have to kind of screw in with the post, it's just a spring that's pressing it down which is very neat. So now this can slide all the way off and then we can see the internals. Now I'm not going to um, take off the other side because it's, it's literally the same thing we just did. So I'm just going to show you what we have here. So we have a set of eight magnets. And if we look at our magnets here, you'll see that the big ones, in, when they're in the lid, right, the big ones line up with their kind of like with their attraction uh, side. But then the second, these small ones have a reverse polarity to them, which causes that little jump, which is really, really nice. So that's why when we see these, and these are actually secured inside, I'm guessing they're glued in. Uh, you could probably pop them out if you really had to. But the easy way to get this all together now, so let's say you've got this open, you've got your magnets here and you're freaking out because you're like, well, what am I going to do with these magnets? Well, all, oh, get back here. 
all we have to do is put the lid back on. Now the lid slides on and then we line our magnets up. But before we do that, I just want to show you what they've done. Ant design is done. Let's see if that's in focus. What they've done with this little screw. So this end cap now is screwed on. And we actually have these little screws and it's a different bit though. It's not the Allen key. So this is like a really, really, really tiny, uh, like Phillips, which I have, but I'm not going to take this off. I don't think there's really any point to it other than just, this is like this little protective cap and it just stops this sharpness, I guess, so that it's, it's not, um, you're not dealing with just like the metal here. But again, what's nice is they've screwed this in instead of that popping off. And that's actually pretty amazing that they, uh, listen to the feedback because I know that was an issue people were having. So now we just take our lid and again, we can see the, these, um, the ridges here, these ridges sit inside this track. So when I put this on, it just slides. And once it slides, it can't pull off. It can push over to the other side if you're not careful, but it can't lift off anymore. So now that we have this set up, we're going to get our screw or our pin, I should say, not screw. See now with the pin in, it won't slide off anymore. So now you're kind of locked and then we just pop our magnets in. So the thing to remember is we've got no magnet here, no magnet here. Now, again, it's, it is such an odd, um, it's, it's an odd uh, setup. I don't know why it's like that uh, because it doesn't matter because there's magnets all throughout. I'm not sure. Maybe it was a cost effective thing. I don't know, uh, but we're going to put it back the way it was. So we were missing a magnet here and missing a magnet here. So now we've got it lined up and I just slide it over. I'll try to do this so you can see it. And we just drag. Now I'm going to go into the corner and then sometimes they go in a little crooked. We good here, buddy. This is annoying with magnets when they do this little like angled thing. So let's start over. Oh, it's annoying, but this is what you have to do, right? When things kind of get messed up. Although I bet you we could just fix that. There we go. Okay. Saved it. So I just had to push it in. It was just kind of on a weird angle. Okay. So now that we have our magnets in and our plate in, I'm going to take our little, little tiny conical spring here pop it into the hole and you can see again the spring sticks out and lines up with this hole and it's just kept in place by the spring but it adds that pressure now normally I would be doing this with tweezers get in there but not today. Why you may ask? Uh, <laughs> Cause my tweezers are over there. Okay. So I have this side in again, I'm putting a decent amount of pressure down on the lid just so that things don't decide to start moving around. Oh, you know what I did? I made a mistake. I forgot to put in my little rubber gasket here. Is it louder? Okay, let's get that back in. It's not going very far. So let me just get this on. Good. So this is what I mean. Like you could just do it. Now this is the only thing that's a little annoying is because it's magnetized and the screws are steel, I guess. 
or I don't know if that makes sense, but they are, they must be because they're sticking to the magnets. in there and that's it and we're back well that's the other thing the sound uh, I find the titanium is a slightly uh, sharper sound whereas the Zerk has that softer sound to it Okay, gang, that's it. That is the Zerk and Titanium S-Nano V2, which you can get over on Ant Design, and I will put a link uh, in the description. Okay, thanks for watching.